Hello everyone, Sunset Duck 2, welcome to another Tata Pack overview, this time on Minecraft, but sunlight instantly kills you. Now Tata Pack quite simply changes the way things work, where if you see sunlight from the overworlds, and I have tested the nether and it also works, then you will take damage from it. Uh, obviously, you want to be careful when installing it, so just put the Tata Pack in the folder, and then obviously go under a block or tree, and then go slash reload and you'll be fine. Um, and I'm pretty sure it auto resets your spawn point to there. I've got a bed in mind just in case. Um, in my world, just in case to make sure, because I don't know how good it is about doing that. So we'll just slash reload here. And you'll see a message there saying sunlight will now kill you to let you know that the data packs installed correctly. So I can do this even in creative, mind you. And I'll take damage. So creative doesn't make you invincible from sunlight at all. Uh, we'll try. Oop, okay, I'm not getting much of anywhere now. Um, in survival, obviously, it's difficult, but uh, in creative, it's still possible. I'll go to the nether, which is what I was intending on doing. Um, and I'll show that it's also possible there, as long as we have access to the the sky, of course, which of course you're not likely to come across unless you're really wanting to get to the top of the world for, say, a, um, a farm or something, but it's still possible. So let's rename the in a moment now. There we go. So unable to survive that, as you can tell. And I do have a end portal right below me, which is why I specifically. Um, Put spawn point there. So we'll get a eye of ender and fill in the rest. And I'm assuming we don't have to hope that we have blocks above us with the actual thing here. Maybe. All right. So we'll do this. So the end sky is still possible. Yeah. All right. So that seems to be the case. So any dimensions sky, I assume even modded will count because it's just detecting a sky. Um, and then there's that, and also as well, there is the if there's no block above you sort of consideration as well. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see. I think there was. Okay, so not when I'm floating in creative. Um, Otherwise, there is obviously a thing such as the end will kill you if you don't have a block under you, except if it is night in the overworld. So yeah, obviously I'm flying in creative, so that seems to be maybe not changing it as much. I'll just go to, say, time set day, for example, and nothing there either. And I don't think it's dimensionally relevant, I don't know. We'll just jump out of the end of course, because why not, and we'll check, and it's still daytime, ah right, yeah, because I just said it, yeah, I said it to daytime because I wanted to, uh, except if it is night in the overworld, okay, so we'll go I guess maybe back now, since it's set there, so it does actually work across dimensions, I wasn't sure if the command did, so we'll now go back in and go into survival, because why not? Alrighty then. Nope, so nothing there. I'm just sort of saving myself. So if we go to night time, nothing there either, all in creative, it seems. Nothing. Yep. So my guess is it's only to do with if you're like falling, I guess, or something. Um, otherwise, if you had a mod that had you go between either, say you uh, in the end you fall through to the overworld sort of thing, you would probably be able to guess that you can easily take damage that way. Um, which I don't think this is related to, but either way, it's a consideration when using something like this if you want difficulty. But um, yeah. Other than that, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.